Hey y'all, it's your girl Ro here, and I want to welcome you to Baking Up Christmas 2022. It's day 16, and this is Baking Up Christmas. Now let's get into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make some Christmas red candy apples. Now these are beautiful apples, simple and easy to make. And let's get right into it. Now here are all the supplies I'm gonna be using. I got my Granny Smith apples. They're already clean. If you wanna learn how to do the cleaning process, just click the link in the right top corner. And I got my four cups of sugar, one cup of corn syrup, and one cup of water. And I'm going to be using a um, airbrush coloring by Deco Pack. This is amazing. I got my flavor, which I'm going to be adding in pineapple, and of course your thermometer. Taking a damp paper towel, you want to rewipe your apples completely and dry them completely. Now I'm rewiping them to make sure that my apples are free from any stickiness or sap like substance before the dipping process. You can also use a terry cloth to complete this process. Once they are completely wiped and dried, then it's time to insert your sticks. Now I'm using some decorated straws and you're gonna need some apple sticks. These are 6.5 in length and a 5.0 in width, which this allows your decorated straws to fit over these particular sticks. Now, once you insert your stick, you wanna insert it upright and make sure it goes in halfway, but not all the way, because once you insert your apple, your decorated straw, that stick goes down a little bit. So. Inserting a stick, you want to be careful that you don't puncture all the way through your apple and it's punctured through the bottom. After inserting your stick and straw, make sure you take some paper towel and wipe around the top of that apple just to make sure there's no juice that has retracted back to the top. You want that to be completely dry. In a medium sauce pot, you want to add in four cups of sugar, one cup of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. You want to cook this on medium high heat and you want to cook it up to 300 degrees. Just give it a little stir so that your um, sugar don't start cooking when you add it to your stove. So you want your ingredients to be mixed well before you start the cooking process. Now you're going to add in your thermometer. You want to make sure your thermometer does not touch the tip, does not touch the bottom of the pot. It will give off a false reading, so make sure it's inserted just enough into your mixture. Now again, cook this on medium high heat. Don't pay attention to the numbers because this is an induction cooktop, but if you're cooking over your stove, cook on medium high heat or between five and six. Once it starts, your mixture will begin to boil and when it reaches 225 to 250, you can add in your flavor, but look, how it boils fast and now it's at 275 degrees and look at the mixture now it starts to slow up different mixtures do different differently so just be aware of that but now once it gets to like that 275 mark you got to play closer attention because it will slow down but it will get to 300 fast so I added in the flavor. It will smoke a little bit, so don't panic. Once it reaches 300 degrees, you want to remove it from your heat. You want to get you a silicone mat to put your apples on. If you don't have one, you can use parchment paper, but I don't recommend wax paper because it will stick to your apples after it's done. Now I'm using an airbrush food coloring and I'm using this half tablespoon measure. So I'm adding a total of two tablespoons of food coloring to this recipe. Now, because this is an airbrush food coloring, you do not need to add white to this mixture, all right? Also, airbrush food coloring is a water-based color and it tends to break down quicker than using gel food colors. So just keep that in mind and make sure that you store your apples properly um, once you have dipped these apples. 
Once the bubbles have settled, now it's time to dip. I'm gonna dip in actual time, meaning I'm not gonna speed up this part. So you can see how well these apples are dipped and how much of the mixture is still going to be loose and fluent to dip more apples. Now, once you do dip your apples, you wanna tilt your pot, do that rotating turn, Make sure your apples do not rest on the side of the pot while you're dipping them because that will mess up your apples. So you want to turn your pot, dip in the mix, not let it rest on the side of that pot, and then get that coverage, let it drain, drain off that extra, scrape the bottom of the apple, and then place it onto your silicone mat. Now, I normally dip faster than this, but I just want to show you um, how the mixture does not harden after the third apple, after the fourth apple, or after the sixth apple. Depending on the size of your apples, this recipe will cover between six to eight medium-sized apples and will cover up to 12 smaller apples. For recipe measurements and coverage, please look into the description box below this video to receive that information. After you have dipped your apples, you wanna keep them in a cool climate area. If you are in a hot climate area, you wanna turn the air on to prevent your apples from breaking down so quickly. These apples can be stored in a cellophane, cellophane bag or apple box and you can place them in your refrigerator. These apples are good up until a week, sometimes two weeks, depending on how well you're storing your apples. Now some apples do tend to last longer than that as long as they are properly stored. Now as you can see here, I am dipping my last apple. This is my sixth apple and you're going to see I'm still going to have mixture left over to dip at least three to four apples and like I said depending on the size of your apples is depending on the amount that you're able to get out of each mixture and as you see it's still mixture left to dip about three to four more apples. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna move right along and I'm also gonna show you how to clean out your pot. So here are the apples. They're all done, nice and shiny. And this is a red shimmer by Deco Pack. I love this particular color. It has a nice shimmer shine to it and i call it the christmas red so i will leave that link in the description box below for that product and just keep in mind that product is not cheap so use it wisely all right and each one of these have good coverage on the apples and perfect bottoms So here's how I clean out my pot. I add in water and I take my spatula to create an opening, like a hole of the candy mixture. I do not allow my candy mixture to cover the bottom of the pot because if you do that and you begin to boil out your mixture, it will explode. So what you wanna do is add in enough water and maneuver that candy mixture. And I don't waste this much candy mixture. I'm just showing you how to clean this out. So keep adding water, fill it up, and then boil it out until it comes to a liquid form. And when it comes to a liquid form, then you can pour it out into your sink, okay? Liquid form just like this. And yes, I pour it out into my sink. I haven't had an issue all these years. It's, it works just fine. So after I pour it out, I, and this is how it's gonna look, I'm gonna add some soap, I'm using Dawn. You can use whatever soap you choose. And then I take my little dish brush, dish sponge, and begin to clean it out, all right? Add a little water to it to help 
uh, with this process. So um, once you do that, you're going to see this candy come right off. It's not a hard process. I used to add um, hand sanitizer to it, but I stopped doing that when I figured out how to, you know, what was a better way for me to clean my pot out. All right. And this is this is just the way. So soap and water. Boil, add soap and water, and then begin to clean your pot. Once you have removed all that candy, then you're just gonna pour out this water, and it's gonna look like that. All that candy is gone. Rinse it off. You know, give it a good good clean rinse and then dry it. Dry it completely. And she's ready for the next mix. All right, you guys. This has been a great video, an amazing video. I love to share um, with you all. Y'all know that. But if you have enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. And you already know, it's your girl Ro about to go. And I'll see you all in the next video.